Hello again, friends of YouTube and all you YouTube listeners out there. Uh, it's Kelly with BC Tactical. Today, we're going to do a review. I couldn't find a good review anywhere online about this this thing. And uh, I kind of wanted one. It's one of those uh, cool dude items that you, that you just really want, but you don't know if you want to spend the money for it. Well, uh, I got one for Christmas. Uh, from my wife's grandmother and grandfather so I got one and uh, I wanted to show it to you guys I'll do a little review what this thing is it is the AI gear a alpha I India gear AI gear walking stick tactical walking stick it's on uh, Amazon you can get it uh, they've got some cheaper ones out there. Don't know what they're like. Uh, could be the same thing. Could, could not be. They're like 20 bucks. This one's high as giraffe's nuts. That's pretty high. So anyway, uh, this guy is like uh, 79 99 Comes in this cool dude pouch with, uh, with a thing. Belt loop so you can carry that big guy on, on your side. It's going to be it's as big as my head. So it'd be like carrying something crazy on your side. So what comes in this thing? All right. So we got all kinds of things that fit into each other. This thing is a top. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. So there's that. And you get all these tubes. You can kind of see through there. Uh, all these tubes are CNC machined. More, more, and then uh, it's got some tools and stuff. And the last thing comes with uh, a little deal you can put on the little things on the side and carry it as a shoulder strap. So that way you don't have to carry that big thing on your side. But this would be good for like a vehicle or like if you're going to go camping or uh, hiking I guess something like that but I don't know that I'd want to carry that thing around all day I mean what's the purpose of having a walking stick if you're not going to carry the thing so anyway you get these tubes they're threaded with a big gasket right in here waterproof stuff and then they're threaded right in here so they go together just like so now the construction of this thing pretty heavy duty man I was impressed with the construction because you never know what you're going to get but like these two pieces just those two together which are still hollow are I mean they're heavy they're they're really heavy so it's uh CNC CNC machined aluminum and you get five of these tubes with the 7999 one five of these uh, and they just fit together like you want. Now it also comes with these little tools like this one is a little saw, you know, or you can push the little button on the side and the saw becomes like a, like a ice hammer pick thing. Like if you're, uh, during an avalanche or something, you can stab that into the ground. But anyway, so you got that. You got this guy, which is kind of your knife with a little saw. It is a double back saw. So it's got double row of teeth and they're offset. And it's got a bottle opener there. Uh, and then it has a harpoon for fishing with. Now, of course, these tubes being hollow, you could stuff whatever you want to in there. Matches or whatever. They are waterproof. They say, I have not tested it yet, but... They uh, they should be relatively waterproof unless you drop your walking stick in a raging river and it stays for an eternity. But anyway, so, you know, these little things come off and they go on these guys. So you can set them up wherever you want. So if you want the saw on the bottom so it's easier to get to. And I will say the construction's heavy duty. I was impressed with that. So, and it gives you a little thing. It says, this is where your saw's at. So that's the saw. And then that guy will go directly into this one. 
now we got three of those guys put together. So I want my knife up here on the top for whatever reason. You can decide to put it wherever you want. Like I say, it's up to you. Totally. There's that guy. Now this one will slide right over that. And go there. And we've got our harpoon here. I'm gonna take that harpoon and thread that guy on there like so. Okay, so, so far for the 80 bucks we spent, we've got one tube, two tubes, three tubes, four tubes, four tubes, and the three tools. A saw and a knife blade and the spear thing. Five tubes. So now we have five tubes all together for our 80 bucks. Five tubes. Fire striker. It's also your end, the rubber end, but it's it's kind of hard. So when you go to use this on a uh, on the floor or something like a, if you're walking through the mall with it or something, it's going to slide. It doesn't catch real good. It says on there that it's a good rubber catch bottom or whatever, but it's not. So probably need to rough it up or put a, a regular cane tip or something on it. But anyway, so that guy fits down on the bottom like so. All right. So now we've got that guy, your fire striker in your end. You got your five tubes with your three tools. And then you got this top handle. Now you can put the top handle on it like so. They thread really easy because they got big, nice, heavy threads. And they, when they're threaded together, man, they're not coming loose unless you take them loose. Now on the end of this guy, you see you got a hammer. So that's just a flat hammer end. And then on the other side, you got a window breaker. Or, if you want to, you can take this end off, put it on this end, and now you've got a little place where, uh, you know, you got a little sharp point if you're walking in some ice or something like that. Uh, also... If you take this guy off the top, like so, you can take your flat hammer end off, like so, and then this will go down on here straight if you just want a straight walk and handle type thing. like if you want just a straight hiking staff. So now you got your straight hiking staff handle. Of course, it's got this hole in the side. But you can put this one back in there. Give you a little, little support if you need it or whatever. You can put, your, put it between your fingers or put your thumb on the back side of it like so is what I do. Like that now. This thing's heavy. Weighs, I don't know, about three pounds, 3.4 pounds or something's the shipping weight on this thing. So 3.4 pounds. If you take, I'm six feet tall, and if you remove one of the tubes, put it in the case and leave it in the closet, it's the right size for me to use as a cane, like an old man walking cane. If not it's a little too tall if you use all five of them for a walking cane but it's not quite tall enough for a hiking staff for 12 bucks you can buy other tubes on amazon so you might want to buy a couple of other tubes on amazon if uh you added another two or three tubes to this thing so you're looking at maybe another 24 to 36 bucks something like that so you could have a taller 
hiking staff. And I'll probably go ahead and get me a couple more. But I got to tell you, this thing is heavy. So if you want a heavy walking stick, this may be your guy. I mean, when you got that handle on the end with your window breaker, I mean, it's going to break windows or heads or whatever else you hit with it. I mean, this thing's going to do some damage. So if you're looking for something to carry with you when you're uh, hiking around or walking around the block or whatever, maybe some self-protection, this thing's it. Plus, it's going to give you some muscles carrying this thing around because, like I say, it's not like some, you know, 12-ounce walking stick. This thing is uh, 3.4 pounds shipping weight. That would include this thing, which weighs nothing. So, you know, a few ounces. So that's what we got on the AI gear. AI gear. Tactical walking stick. So check it out on Amazon. There you go. If you had any questions about it, now you got the answers. So, hey, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll catch you on the flip side.